pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Can we please have roll call? Yes, you may. Councilmember Kelly, I do not see on Zoom. Councilmember Turner? Here. Councilmember Perkins? Here. Councilmember Armstrong? Here. Councilmember Granillo? Eric? I see him present on Zoom, but I don't see him unmuted yet. Eric, you're muted. We'll come back to him. Uh, Vice Mayor Mendoza? Here. Mayor Miller? Here. Our town attorney is present remotely. And Councilmember Granillo? All right. <sighs> Introductions, presentations, and proclamations. We have none. Call to the public. Aaron, please. Sure. Call to the public is an opportunity for the public to address the council on any issue within the jurisdiction of the council that is not on the agenda. Public comment is encouraged. Individuals are limited to speak for three minutes. The total time for call to the public may be up to 30 minutes per meeting. Council action taken as a result of public comment will be limited to directing staff to study the matter scheduling the matter for further consideration and decision at a later date, or responding to criticism. Individuals who wish to speak, please state your first and last name if you reside in Chino Valley Town Limits, and would you please fill out a comment card that we have here at the clerk station. Thank you. And do we have any comment card for tonight? Okay. How do we do this now? So this is new to us. Mr. Larry Holt is here to speak for Call to the Public. All right, Larry. Good evening, everybody. Larry Holt, Chino Valley. I have the honor of being the chair of the 9-11 Memorial Committee, and I just wanted to get up tonight and give you a real brief update on where we're at. We are probably 90% complete with the memorial, thanks to the generosity sitting in front of me, who have graciously donated some time, some supplies. Um, flagpoles will be in Thursday. We will be setting them as soon as the concrete dries, which you guys know more about that than I do. But I'm thinking it's going to be a while, seeing that we don't have water out there. But uh, as soon as that's done, we'll lay the benches down. We'll throw a little more rock in to level out the site, and it will be ready for September 11th. We did have the first September 11th work group meeting. We're meeting again next week, and all I can say is it's going to be one heck of a nice ceremony. So I hope Good. all of you can make it. Good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Anyone else for the call of the public that didn't get a card? All right, onward we go. Current events, summaries, and reports. This item is for information only. The mayor, any council member, or town manager may present a brief summary or report of current events. If listed below, they may also be a presentation on information requested by the mayor and council, and questions may be answered. No action will be taken. Status reports by the mayor and council. I have nothing. No. Attended the little mixer over at Insurgent Brewing last Friday night, uh, put on by San Martin of the Prescott Times. It's nice to see some local businesses out and give them a face. At least they got a face with a name so they can throw darts at me or whatever they need to do. Also attended the Prescott Airport terminal dedication. Very nice ceremony. Excellent speech by our mayor at that. <laughs> Wasn't me. It was a good speech. Do? Yes. Hi, everyone. Okay. I don't have a speech prepared, so bear with me on this one. <laughs> First and foremost, I would like to, on behalf of the town, thank um, all of our wildland firefighters and the incident command teams, um, Heritage Middle School, our school resource officer, uh, Jeff Peasy, who has been coordinating, uh, setting up everything. Um, it's just incredible the way they have moved into action and we are all grateful our communities are grateful moving on the wade parker memorial softball tournament is this coming weekend it's always a huge hit there are a ton of raffle prizes many you need to pass a background check to receive so that's always a good thing um this is the eighth annual it's a great fundraiser the wade parker memorial foundation gives scholarships to local kids in our community who want to pursue a career in um, fire, public service, essentially, and uh, they've been giving out scholarship awards uh, 
this is the eighth year, so we started it the very first year. So with the fires burning, um, just keeping our community in prayers and a uh, kind of a somber week to come uh, with the history in our area. So hoping to make this weekend a great turnout, a great support, and a good time for everyone. And that is it. I'm done. Thank you. Okay. On a personal note, um, tonight will be my last council meeting. I am resigning. My uh, my daughter, we have a very small family, and she's been given a job opportunity out of state. And uh, with a granddaughter, we have, we have always told them, if you move, pick a, pick a nice place because Grandma and I are following you. And... Uh, well, now we gotta we gotta back up what we said. So uh, we are, are following our, our granddaughter and our daughter and, and son-in-law. So my official letter of resignation has been turned in, and uh, tonight will be my last council meeting. And I've I've really enjoyed my town my time as a town councilman, and uh, and uh, thank you all for electing me. And I hope I've done you a good job. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mendoza. Can we all, the whole council, come up front, please? Yet turned on. Hello. We can just use this. Hello. How we use this? I'm gonna let Lon do this because he's been long here longer than me. Lon. Well, as much as I hate to see him go, uh, we do appreciate everything that he's done for us while he's been here. He's been a uh, not only a council member and vice mayor, but he's been a very good citizen of this community for a lot of years. So with that, this is an appreciation award presented to Corey Mendoza in sincere appreciation for your outstanding service to Vice Mayor 2020-2021, Council Member 2015-2020. Thank you for everything. You have made a difference. Don't forget me. Thank you Come again. Come over here so I can get a picture. Please. You can stand in front. <laughs> you good like that? Oh, oh my God. Not say anything again. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. We're done. Let's do it. He's all for it. He's always been chatty like that. Yes. All right, Ms. Blackmore, do you have anything? Um, just a couple of things. Um, I haven't been here long, but I want to say how much I appreciate Vice Mayor Mendoza for all of your support, and I can really see the difference you've made in this community and how you've touched the lives of many here, and that, that legacy will live on, so thank you very much. Just wanted to say that. And then just as a quick reminder, town offices will be closed in observance of the Independence Day holiday on Monday, July 5th. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I wanted to mention that the forest around are closed as of Monday, I think it is. So uh, don't go out thinking you're going to be able to do anything because you won't be able to due to the fire danger. All right. Consent agen agenda. All those items listed below are considered to be routine and may be enacted by one motion. Any council member may request to remove an item from the consent agenda to be considered and discussed separately. Anybody want to remove anything? I'm oh, oh, sorry, I forgot here. what I was doing. <laughs> With that, I make a motion to accept consent agendas item 5A, B, C, D, and E as written. A second? A second. Okay, motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And Mayor Miller, if we can make sure that uh, Councilmember Gurneal, we hear him on Aye. the record too. Can you hear? Sorry, Aaron, we can, can hear, hear you now. 
Can you hear you? Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Action items. The council may vote to recess the public meeting and hold an executive session on any item on this agenda pursuant to ARS 38431.03A3 for the purpose of discussion or consultation for legal advice with the town attorney. Executive sessions are not open to the public and no action may be taken in executive session. Item 6A, consideration and possible action to approve accountability contract with Chamber of Commerce in the amount of $60,000. Maggie. Good evening, Mayor and Council. So like it says, this is the Chamber of Commerce accountability contract. Um, next slide, please. Am I doing it here? Okay. So the basic terms of the contract are um, that the new contract will begin July 1st, 2021 until July, June 30th, 2022 with an automatic renewal each year for up to five successive one-year terms, effective July 1st. Um, we are in the fifth year of the last renewal, so this is a brand new contract. Um, town fiscal responsibilities are that <clears throat> the compensation of 60000 for the scope of services and a match pay of 3000 for the grant received by the Chamber from the Arizona Office of Tourism. Um, basic terms, additional town responsibilities are to, these are just a few of them. I'm not going to outline all of them, just highlight a couple. To provide the Chamber with new and renewed business license information, partner with the Chamber with grant funding, and work together to support our local businesses. <clears throat> so goal of the new contract, so I'm just going to read this. The primary goal of the new contract is to streamline and modernize the language in order to create a contract that is more feasible and productive for the chamber and the town. And the chamber scope of services, not too different from the last contract, really just kind of, again, streamlined um, to have an Arizona Office of Tourism Visitor Center, promotion and marketing, the current volunteer program they still have going, community outreach and participation with the town. Um, and one thing to highlight is we, both parties have met a couple times, and um, we have negotiated in the chambers seems to be very happy with the new contract, and so we would like to pursue it. <laughs> any questions? All right. Does the chamber have anything they want to say? Are you guys happy? <laughs> no, you guys I'm good. Okay. Nope. Anything down there? Court. Well, as long as everybody's happy, I make a motion to approve the Chamber of Commerce accountability contract in the amount of $60,000. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 6B, consideration and possible action to amend the final plat for Safeway Storage 1747 subdivision in order to separate the store and gas station into two sub individual parcels. Will. All right. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Council. The item before you is a request to amend the final plat for the Safeway subdivision known as Safeway Subdivision Number 1747. I believe the applicant is present at this meeting remotely. Okay. He is in there, so if we have questions at the conclusion of this presentation for the applicant, he is able to answer them. <clears throat> So just a little foreground, we, I'm sure we all know where the Safeway is, but the Safeway Shopping Center is located on the northeast corner of uh, State Route 89 and East Road 2 North. Currently, the site exists as four separate parcels. However, the applicant is proposing to separate the large main parcel into two separate lots where one lot contains the gas station and the other lot contains the grocery store. The applicant has indicated that this is a request that stems from the recent Albertson Safeway acquisition merger. Um, Total amended area for this parcel is 7.21 acres. Uh, two proposed lots, smallest lot being the gas station is just under an acre at 0 0.9 acres, and the largest lot is roughly 6.3 acres. You can see the proposed lot one outlined here in blue contains the Safeway store along with the drainage on site that's already been completed. And then outlined in yellow is the gas station um, parcel two. Uh, the Safeway final plat meets all section or all requirements set forth in section five of the UDO. Main access will be via State Route 89 and East Road 2 North. 
uh, development services and public works have completed their review and have some verbiage they would like to stipulate with the plat to ensure global cross access between the parcel. Um, so we're comfortable with presenting this to council as a stipulation instead of having that requirement chain or that added before approval. And then any further division of this development will need to be brought back for council approval. <clears throat> with that said, town staff recommends that the town council approve the final plat amendment for Safeway Store 1747 subdivision in order to separate the store and gas station into two individual parcels with the following stipulation a global cross access easement be created between the two newly created parcels and be added to the plat. With that, I will open it up to questions or discussion from the council. I have no questions. I wasn't sitting up here in 2004, Will. Why are they doing this? Um, I can let the applicant kind of discuss uh, why they are bringing this forward, um, following if any other questions for, um, Thank for you. staff. The applicant is on. He just has to unmute himself. Good evening. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. I wasn't sure who, uh, which council member or uh, asked that question, but I could probably just answer it generally. Um, the reason for the subdivision is uh, due to financing purposes. Um, it's easier to just finance two separate parcels and get um, loans for that rather than one big parcel. Strictly a financial decision? Correct. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. No problem. Danny? I have nothing, Corey. In that case, I make a motion to approve the final plat amendment to the Safeway Store 1747 subdivision to separate the store and gas station into two individual parcels with the following stipulation that cross access between the two newly created parcels through means of a newly created easement or note on the plat. A second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item 6C, public hearing possible action regarding application from Ditch Beer and Wine, Beer and Wine Store for a new Series 10 lo liquor license located at 856 South State Route 89. Will, you're back up. Thanks. Yes, I am. Hello again. All right. So Ditch Beer and Wine um, is proposing a new beer and wine store here within Chino Valley, located in the empty um, unit in the Aroma Pizza Shopping Center at the south end of town. <clears throat> they hope to open this new business and, as such, have applied for their Series 10 liquor license with the town of Chino Valley, which requires to come before council for approval. Uh, <clears throat> staff has reviewed all of... Uh, the required submitted, submitted documents as well as routed their application to separate departments and met all the legal required posting requirements set forth by the state. Um, there's been no issue within the departments or um, as far as the state liquor license as well for this liquor license. With that being said, staff is recommending that council hold first hold a public hearing and second, uh, we forward a recommendation of approval to town council to approve the new series 10 liquor license for ditch beer and wine. And I will turn it over to the commission or council uh, to open it up for a public hearing. Okay, any questions or anything before we open up amongst the council? No. Okay, we need a motion to open. I make a motion to hold, open to a, hold a public hearing. Second. Motion made and seconded. We're now in a, oh, I'm sorry, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we're now in a, Open I, meeting. Is there any comments from the attendees? None. So we will close the meeting, the open hearing, and then we'll look for the uh, recommendation. So I make a motion to recommend the approval for a new Series 10 liquor license for ditch beer and wine. Second. Mo motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 6D, public hearing possible action regarding application from Ali. Oh, wow. Amato. Amato? Amato. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whiny Cats Vineyard for a new Series 7 beer and wine liquor license located at 2515 North Road 1 East Chino Valley. Will. 
Hello once more. Alrighty, the applicant, Ali Amato, has recently purchased the Granite Creek Vineyard here in town and is wishing to change the name and the existing liquor license to Whiny Cat's uh, Vineyard at Granite Creek. Uh, this is comes before the council at the request of the liquor board. They requested council approval for this license as it is a Series 7. Um, she intends to continue a similar operation to what the previous owner was doing on site. Staff has... Uh, Within all departments reviewed the application. We have no issues with it. All legal notifications have been met. That has been set forth by the state. Um, with that being said, as previously, staff is recommending that the council hold up open a public hearing and then we forward a recommendation of approval to town council to approve the Series 7 liquor license for Winey Cat Vineyards. I'll open it up to questions from the council if there are any. Any questions from the council? I have one. Sure. Uh, will this only be beer and wine? Uh, from my understanding, that's what a Series 7 is. is um, as far as any other spirituous liquor, liquors, um, that would not be present. Thank you. Yeah. Next. Okay, we need a motion. I make a motion to hold a public hearing. Motion, motion made and seconded to hold a public hearing. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. So we're in an open hearing now. Does anyone have anything to say about this? Okay, we will close the open hearing with no comments, and we'll look for a recommendation. Make a motion to recommend approval for a new Series 7 liquor license for Whiny Cat's Vineyard. Second. Um, motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. None. Motion carries. Item 6E, public hearing regarding resolution number 2021-1183 regarding the town's final budget for fiscal year 2021-2022 and proposed expenditure limitation for the same year in the amount of 41 million 300,000 well there's a lot of zeros after that 300,000 <laughs> wouldn't that be like point zero zero? so that's like 41 billion 300 million no that is incorrect mayor 41 million 300,000 mr bear I uh, just have a brief presentation before we open it for a public hearing. Uh, tonight we're here doing the final adoption of the budget for 2021. As you can see here, we've been through quite a process and quite a few steps, including the last time it was before you was on May 26th when we, we adopted, uh, or May 25th when we adopted the tentative budget that set the maximum amount that we could spend at 41300000 So tonight we adopt the final budget after a public hearing, and then we'll recess into a special meeting for the next agenda item and make a motion to adopt it. So um, basically the total budget is increased from 21, tw about $24.5 million to the 31300000 $300, And that's really due because of our, inc our revenues have also increased from $22 uh, million to a little over $36 million this year. So we have quite a few projects planned. And so our recommendation will be to approve resolution number 2021-1183 after the public hearing. All right, thank you. Any questions from council before we open? No. I make a motion to hold the public hearing. Second. A motion made and seconded to hold a public hearing. All in favor? Aye. 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 There it is. Uh, okay, we now have a public hearing. Any comments on the budget from the attendees? Hearing none, we'll close the public hearing. Is that all we're doing tonight, Joe? Uh, we'll do a public hearing for the next resolution for the uh, okay. Chino Valley. I'm revenue. in on that. That's all we're yes, doing. Yes, sir. There? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Item six F, public hearing regarding uh, uh, resolution number twenty twenty one dash eleven eighty four relating to the statements and ex estimates of expenses of the town of Chino Valley Street Lighting Improvement District for fiscal year 21-22, which shall constitute the budgets of the district for fiscal year 21-22, and the tax levy anticipated in conjunction with budgets of the districts. Joe. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As you know, we have a street lighting improvement district. It's basically in the, ch it's the Bright Star subdivision. So um, they broke it up into three different sections and the people there, actually the county taxes them or assesses them the amount that we're proposing to pay for the street, operating the street lights every year. And then we receive the money and we pay APS for it. So tonight um, we'll be approving resolution 2021-1184, uh, adopting the statements of estimates and expenditures, which basically is their final budget. 
And then on July 13th, we'll approve the resolution to set the tax rate required to collect the amount of money that we're asking for. And as you can see, this year in column E, with the three districts, one, two, and three A, um, in total, I believe we're collecting, we're asking for 1,901, 1,000 for two, and 1,200 for three A, which is the same amount, I believe, that we, actually it's $100 less in one than we asked for in the prior year. Okay, any questions from council? Make a motion to hold public hearing. Motion been made to hold the public hearing. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, well, public hearing is now open. Is there any comment from the attendees? Seeing none, we will close the public hearing. Is that it, Joe? That's it on this agenda item. Yes, sir. You're up, Mr. Kern. That's it? That's it. Okay, well, then I'll make a motion we adjourn. Motion, motion may we adjourn, second? Here you go. Second. Motion made and seconded. We stand, all in favor? Aye. 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 We're standing Aye. adjourned. Don't forget we have an ex uh, executive Aye. session in the conference room. Mr. Mayor, if um, we can't actually go into our special meeting, we're going to vote on those two resolutions at this oh, time. Oh, sorry. I didn't read that far ahead. <coughs> all right. Psych. Uh, we're going to open the special meeting now. And we have a call to order. So we're calling this meeting to order. Can we have a roll call? You may. Councilmember Kelly is absent. Councilmember Turner. Here. Councilmember Perkins. Here. Councilmember Armstrong. Here. Councilmember Granillo. Here. Vice Mayor Mendoza. Here. Mayor Miller. Here. And our town attorney is still present remotely. Well, there he is. All right. <laughs> uh, item B, consideration possible action to adopt resolution number 2021-1183 related to the town's final budget for fiscal year 2021-22 and the proposed expenditure limitations for the same year in the amount of $41,300,000. Joe, do you need to say anything else? I have nothing else, sir. Okay, good. I make a motion to adopt resolution 2021 dash. 1183, adopting the fiscal year 2021-22 final budget and establishing the fiscal year 2021-22 expenditure limitation. Second. Motions made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item C, consideration and possible action to adopt resolution number 2021. Dash 1184, related to the statements and ex estimates of expenses of the Town of Chino Valley Street Lighting Improvement District for fiscal year 21-22, which shall constitute and are approved as the final budgets for the districts for fiscal year 21-22. Nothing. Okay. He's got nothing to say. I make a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-1184, relating to the statements and estimates of expenses of the Town of Chino Valley Street Lighting Improvement Districts for fiscal year 2021 and 2022, which shall constitute and are approved as the final budgets of the districts for fiscal year 2021 and 2022. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Now it's your turn again. Okay. Well, I'll uh, make a motion we adjourn again. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we stand Aye. adjourned until reconvening in executive <coughs> session. Thank you all for coming.